Larry Lerner, two people from the same region, the 818, both of these good friends indeed. Of course, Larry and Cookie Slayer are out here in winner's quarters finals looking at Cookie Slayer's bracket. He was able to actually make it out from the winner's side beating out mm -hmm. Sweet Tea. Yeah, beating beating Sweet Tea, who kind of sauced me, but we need to talk about that. Uh, but that was uh, that was pool three, if I remember correctly. These are the two that made it out on winner's side, like you said. And interesting to see, uh, you know, I don't know too much about Cookie Slayer. You're gonna have to tell me about him. But I have also not seen a whole lot of the Larry Lur Falco. Is this a recent development, or is this something that he's been chilling on for a while? This is something he's kind of been like. I wouldn't say he's been cooking it up for a while. I want to say this has been sautéing for quite some time because okay. it's definitely been out here at locals. It's definitely caused a ruckus. It came over here at Hollywood Action Tuesdays against Charlie, able to slap Charlie Sheik, and then was able to like, okay, I can take this Falco's way bigger than like I thought. Mm -hmm. Of course, Larry actually means all three spaces because I feel like meaning all three is actually pretty good in this game. Yeah, no, you, you can cover a whole lot of matchup spread, and Falco in particular is going to cover a lot of those matchups where your opponent has a lot of speed. They're yeah. going to be approaching you, and you know if you get that one hit, you can set up for a whole heaping helping of damage. Yep, and I mentioned earlier, right, the 818 is a very big fan of the Persona series. Zan, of course, from the 818 area, big fan of Persona. And it's not going to lie, it's paying him really good dividends because right now he's doing an excellent job against Larry's Falco. Mm -hmm. And I think the Joker just has some tools. I mean, despite the fact that he will want to approach, he's going to want to use that speed to try to get in Falco's zone. Oh. That recovery is one of the big things that he has going for him because he can maneuver around those aggressive edge guards. Exactly. He can use the gun slide to a little bit move, just a little bit forward or backward. Make sure he has Aha. Gives you a little bit of aerial drift. Okay, watch the landing here for Zan. He is able to take that, that neutral air, able to catch the Zan on the high landing, get the RSN here, and come back on the stage. Mm -hmm. But Forder at the ledge, going to cover a whole lot, and it's a real safe move, too, with those multi-hits. It's not an easy one to parry, so Larry Lur able to pick up that first kill for himself. We're pretty much back to an even game here going into the second stock. And it's been a whole lot of this. It's been a whole lot of early game, big punishes, and then glancing blows later on. Mm-hmm. Nice Rebel Guard there from Cookie Slayer, though. Going to be building up a lot of that Rebel's meter. If he just gets a few more hits, he could be looking to pull out that Arsene and get an early stock. He wants to try to take out Larry Lur here. All right, Dan, nearly showing the back, going for those back airs. Catches the landing here from the high option. I like it because when you see the back air from Zan at the ledge, you know that Larry is, hey, if I go for a roll get up, neutral get up, I'm going to have to be sure that I'm going to get hit by that back air. So he went for a jump get up, and immediately Zan called that out. Mm -hmm. So he's forcing Larry to make sure he picks his options. Safely. There's the back air. Zan with stage control in his hands. Oh, trying to go for the forward. Ooh. What? There's a fantastic tomahawk there to keep Larry Lur guessing. You know, mm -hmm. gotta gotta make sure that even though you have those amazing aerials, you gotta establish that you can use the option that won't net you as much, just so you can land the good ones. Yeah, you gotta be like Con Con, man. Flex, flex the shirt a little bit, man. Let mm -hmm. them know that hey, I'm not gonna let you come back for free. Oh my gosh, flex on that up <laughs> tilt to up air. Falco's got hops, dude. Man, he, this guy has always had hops. This character, you know what Falco, man, he, he per personally prefers the air. Yeah. Well, he's so good at it. He, 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 he he's, not, he's not just talking a big game. He really oh. does mean it when he says that. I thought that was going to be some loops there with that gun, but Cookie mm -hmm. Slayer tried to catch a panic option from Larry Lur. Wasn't given to him. This man is a veteran. Yep. All right. All right, looking for a whiff punish here. And like it respects the forwarder. You got to be careful because if they do fast fall it, it does have a seventh hit. You got to be careful for it. And that whiff grab at the ledge is going to give Cookie Slayer... The opening that he needs to find that back air, you know, it's been Oof. with punishes for him because Falco does have a couple of those moves, including that grab where you get that opening to get the big punish. But so far, Cookie Slayer needs to take a, you know, a normal one and find a way to extend these combos because mostly it's been glancing blows here in that second stock. Oh, nice. Good. Good opportunity to use the dash dance, get a grab here, a little bit of dip payment. I love that spacing there from Larry Lur staying inside the range of the... Uh, of the of the big A high, I don't know what the name is of it, so apologies Aegon. for that. Of Aegon, <laughs> thank you. Uh, but you know, staying inside of that range so that it doesn't just detonate on the ground in front of him, and now catching some loops with those aerials. Yeah, I talk about staying inside the range there. I mean, he was so much in Larry's range, and I felt that immediately when Zan came to the hand hand combat, you should have been looking to find himself just a little bit of space to breathe here, get a whiff punish. That's what Joker is really known for at that point, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, we're we're kind of seeing the 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 game one struggles for Cookie Slayer that we saw back when we uh, when we had Nico, yeah, uh, you know, on the stream when we uh, you know had that first match for us, where you know Cookie Slayer is just having a little bit of trouble getting that big damage output because finding the kills has actually been pretty much fine for him. He's been getting them at reasonable percents for mm -hmm. an Arsenless uh, Joker, but 
it's been the process of getting Larry to those percents that has been the issue for him. And game two, this is where Nico turned it around. Maybe Cookie Slayer has found some habits from Larry Lur that he can take advantage of and start building it up. Yeah. For, for Cookie Slayer, you know, he also has characters such as Young Link in his pocket as well. As a character, he started out with a main. He used to main Tool Link back in Smash 4, but the tools kind of seem to travel a little bit more towards Young Link and Ultimate. And that's where Young, I feel that like Young Link really excels is just having better tools over Tool Link. Mm -hmm. Of course, but, that matchup would be scary against Falco, who has that frame one reflector that stays out forever. Exactly. So I feel like, yeah, Joker is the best call here for Cookie Slayer. Immediately, once I talked about it earlier, right, he's looking for whiff punishes here, and he sees the laser, says, fine, you want to go ahead and shoot me, but when you come back for the combat, I have the punish. Mm -hmm. it, you can't just stay in the corner forever, Larry. I am standing here, I have control of center stage, and eventually, you're going to have to come to me, because to make that Arsene meter go down quicker, you got to hit me. Yeah, you got to hit me a lot more than that, and he hit me with that forward there, and Larry understands, I got to hit him before he comes oh. back on the stage. Oh, but watch and the tether, and you went too low. Exactly how he dropped that first stock in game one. Went mm -hmm. low for a forwarder, but then got really greedy afterwards, and that's what ended up losing the stock, not necessarily the forwarder itself. Yeah. It's, only, it's, it's literally the second date, man. She said, fine, I like how you play. Let's go on a second date. Take me, <laughs> to take, take me, take me somewhere else besides IHOP, and don't get too greedy. And Larry was not quick enough there to set up his edge guard, so instead he'll wait for that get-up from Cookie Slayer to even the game back up. Going right back to neutral, you see that Larry's comfortable chilling near that ledge, making Ooh. sure that that platform gets in the way of any aerial approaches from Cookie Slayer. And speaking of getting into the air. And I love that you called that right, because with that platform there, if Larry goes for an aerial, he can also find a whiff point for the platform, saving him a little bit of that hitbox that he might have gotten hit by. Using the gun there, stalls his recovery, and I like it. Even going for an up air that low. Trying to get Larry off from the ledge. Larry whiffing an aerial, though, gave Cookie Ooh. Slayer an opening, but an opening is all it was. He did not take advantage of it enough. And Larry, once again, that that up tilts you any aerial to do it, man. Yeah. Falco hits hard in the air. Yeah, Falco's up tilt really feels like DLC. <laughs> it really is a <laughs> DLC move, man. I'm not going to lie. You're super right. Uh, I mean, hopefully uh, we'll see Arsena's DLC come out pretty soon for Xanis. That meter it building up so closely now. But even though it's building up, Xanis losing a lot of stage control in favor. Mm -hmm. And obviously taking a lot of damage as well. I mean, it's sort of like the Lucario thing, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you take more damage, yeah, you get more powerful, but you don't want to get hit because you're closer to dying now. I feel like Arsene was made the same way the Powerpuff Girls were made. You put a little bit of Lucario, <laughs> you put a little bit of Cloud, and you accidentally drop anime in there, and you get Joker and Arsene. You get Joker and Arsene, man. And <laughs> Cookie Slayer running out of that meter, it's gone, and this is Ooh. looking like it is going to be tough for him to win this game because he's got to use that Rebel Guard to build Arsene back. Once again, Larry getting very greedy with that Nair, but this time he's close enough to the ledge to make it back, and an yep. up smash does connect afterwards, and it's a 2-0 for Larry Lur. Yep, Larry Lur going to go ahead and fight his...